As the busy summer travel season gets closer, the FAA is opening what it calls highways in the sky to speed up air travel. Travelers want to know if America's aviation system can keep up with demand from summer vacationers. Chris Van Cleve is at Los Angeles International Airport, LAX. Chris, good morning. Nate, good morning. We'll start with some good news. Airfare tracking site Hopper says domestic airfares for the summer are down more than 10 percent compared to last year. But flyer concern appears to be on the rise. More than 75 percent of flyers say they are worried about their flights being disrupted, delayed or canceled. And for good reason, 22 percent of flights so far this year, that's more than one in five, has been delayed. And the airports are only going to get more crowded from here. This morning, the countdown to summer vacation comes with concern over travel turmoil. I'm on a wing and a prayer. Sherry Eisenman is so concerned about her three-week trip to Ireland in June, she's not even checking a bag. I really believe it's just kind of 50-50. Anyone traveling is taking a chance that they may not get to their destination. Last summer, more than 45,000 flights were canceled and nearly one in four was delayed as airlines struggled through bad weather and staffing issues. This year, they insist it will be different. Bookings are strong, demand is strong. We're adding buffers into our own schedules to make certain we can deliver for our consumers. All of our partners really want to make sure this summer goes smoothly. While the TSA expects potentially record-breaking numbers of passengers at U.S. airports this summer, picketing pilots seeking a new contract warn there could be turbulence ahead. The summer at American Airlines is as uncertain as it was last year, and last year was not good. The FAA announced it's opened new highways in the sky by streamlining 169 East Coast routes, saving 6,000 minutes of travel time annually. But air traffic control staffing concerns prompted airlines to reduce summer flights out of New York City. I'm worried airlines have scheduled more flights than the FAA can handle. Airline industry analyst Henry Hartevelt. I think this is going to be a summer of light to moderate turbulence. I'm concerned that if there's just even the slightest ripple of bad weather, the FAA will be asking airlines to delay flights or possibly even cancel flights because there are more flights than the system can safely handle. Sherry Eisenman just hopes she makes her connection. They've already changed it twice and it keeps getting closer and closer to my departure time to go to Dublin. Now, airlines have largely addressed their staffing issues from last year, but the biggest disruptor to summer travel traditionally is the weather. Best bets are nonstop flights that leave on the early side of the morning. And if there is bad weather in the forecast and the airline suggests you change your flight, be proactive, do it early while there are options still available. Tony? Yeah, well, the airlines can't control the weather. My worst thing with airlines is when you land, you're there, and they can't get you to the gate. The gate is full, and you're just sitting there, Chris. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Wish people the best of luck this summer.